All too often, a shop will purchase a sensor and claim that it is defective and it didn't solve the issue with the vehicle. They might claim that the problem was minimized after installing the new sensor, but the symptom and code returned quickly. They might even try to install a second or third sensor. So what's going on? In the case of oxygen, mass airflow, crankshaft position, and many other sensors, there might be a final step the shop needs to perform post repair. This step is called clearing the adaptations or a reset. This is because the engine management system on many engines can compensate for wear to components or even manufacturing tolerances. Think about a crankshaft or camshaft position sensor. Over time, the timing chain will stretch and even the teeth on the sprockets can wear. This causes a slight change to the correlation of the positions of the crank and camshafts. The ECM can adjust to changes if it knows the condition of the system and sensor. If the crankshaft position sensor is replaced, the ECM will assume it is talking to the old sensor. The slight difference in the sensor and the engine might stack up and cause codes for the new sensor. Some systems might even detect small changes and set a code for the crankshaft position sensor to be calibrated or reset. The procedure to calibrate the sensor might involve a scan tool and holding the engine speed at a specific level for a set period. Once this is completed, the sensor will operate as intended. These adaptation resets can be required for air fuel ratio sensors, heater circuits, mass airflow sensors, steering angle sensors, transmission sensors, and many, many more. So the next time you get a customer that wants to return a sensor claiming it is defective, ask them if they have done the resets or adaptations have been cleared. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.